Hey everybody, Jimmy here. Uh, today, I'm going to do a one-year owner's review of the Apex 253RLS 2020 Coachman. We've had this trailer for a little over a year now, and I just want to go through the whole thing, show you guys everything about it, all the upgrades I've done. Uh, coming to you from East County, San Diego. Um, so let's just get right to it and uh, just want to say this trailer has been fantastic for us. Uh, we bought this thing in July 2020, right smack dab in the middle of uh, COVID-19. We've been RVing for a long time. We never owned one ourselves because everybody in our family has one. So, But we decided to pull the trigger and we went searching high and low and we found our trailer. And here it is. She is 28 foot long. Again, she's a 2020. Uh, about 25 foot long floor space in there. She is 5,252 pounds dry. Um, an ultralight. I try to pay attention to the weight that's inside because I'm pulling it with a half ton. Um, and half tons pulling it just fine. Uh, these things come pre-wired with the camera, which I installed. The Voyager camera. Uh, these things have a lot of windows in this trailer. It's a lot of uh, cross air going through here, which we kind of really like. And you have 35 gallon black, 35 gallon gray. 55 gallon fresh water comes with an outdoor shower uh, I hooked up a little thing there so you can hang the nozzle we do a lot of beach camping down at Camp Pendleton Del Mar California so uh, that comes in really handy it's a nice nice thing to have that outdoor shower uh, enter two propanes going I added an extra battery to double the amp hour I have a battery shut off when uh, I'm in my uh, driveway in the front yard here with this thing. <clears throat> I keep it connected to shore power and I unhook the batteries because I don't want to damage the batteries. And normally a couple days before we take off to go anywhere, I'll hook them back up, really get a good, uh, get good juice in them and uh, test it with a, one of those meters. And it seems to be working out. Two batteries, of course, is better than one. Double the amp hours. We boondock it out in the desert. Um, helps out a lot we do have a small generator 35 water 3500 water uh, this trailer has an 18 foot awning you got outdoor speakers you've got all the fancy lights you're already set up for solar on the side um, again there's plenty of windows which we really love a couple of things that I one thing I noticed is I lost one of the covers on my uh, outdoor speaker so I called the manufacturer called the dealership and uh, they ordered a couple for me should be in soon um, as far as upgrades outside of the batteries up front there um, this door had a strut on it that only uh, made it come straight out so I took the strut off because we'd like we like it more open there um, and you can see I keep our wheel covers on we got her backed in here. And I did put a hitch on the back, which I don't really use it for anything but a flagpole. I have a fancy little adapter that goes in there. And she's holding up beautifully. Uh, she's a little dirty right now. We just got done with a few weeks of Santa Ana winds, blowing hard. So she's a little bit dusty, but let's go ahead and go on in and I'll show you guys around. Uh, the Dometic. AC up on top. Put a soft start on that. Uh, seems to work out fine if you want to use one of those uh, inverter generators. Seems to work fine. Also, put a new window in there. Uh, I didn't like the one you couldn't see out of. I knocked a couple of kids off my steps coming out of the trailer. And uh, so <laughs> I suggest go ahead and upgrade it if you can, if you're handy. It's pretty simple doesn't cost too much and this is what you call a rear living couples cabin you have your little uh, house chairs you have plenty of storage and a six 
by six foot six foot six inches long dinette table. Your entertainment center. It works fantastic in here. Just love it. It's very roomy. And of course, your standard travel trailer kitchen. Um, the AC unit itself, you know, I can't tell you enough how crappy these things are when they come out of the factory. Uh, they're just not sealed off for correctly between the warm air intake and the cold air down. So you got to, I went up in there, watch a couple of YouTube videos and you can go in there and you can kind of fix all that, get it working properly. So you get more airflow out of your vents. Uh, I won't bore you with the details, but you do use reflectives and that foil tape and just get busy. And you can really quiet this thing down a little bit and improve the, uh, the airflow. Uh, we like this trailer because we needed a big bathroom. That was one of the things. So it's an eight foot bathroom, eight foot wide and a beautiful shower. And then the master in the back here, which again, uh, it's real comfy. It's cozy. It's roomy for two people, two dogs. Um, and you can also have guests sleep out, out in the, in the, in the back there. So there's plenty of room for that. Uh, let's see. I talked about the soft startup there. Yeah. All in all, this trailer, oh, I got these fancy little, uh, butcher block things from Amazon. They, believe it or not, I didn't have to cut any of them. They just fit right in there. Two of them. And we use that quite a bit. Refrigerator's working fine. Everything in this trailer is working fine. It's, it's a year old. It's been on, what, 12 trips? About 1,400 miles on her. Uh, you see little things like uh, where the, the stripping is coming off the, uh, off the face here. And, of course, I can't really blame the manufacturer because <sighs> the temperature swings back here in East County. Well, we're 25 miles from the coast. Uh, it'll be 58 degrees in the morning and 104 degrees in the afternoon. So it puts a lot of, a lot of stress on your trailer inside and out. I mean, if you had a garage, that would be perfect. If you had a carport that you could put it under, that would be, that'd be fine. But out here, you just kind of, you know, have to deal with the elements. So I just use scotch tape and kind of clean all that stuff up and it works out fine works out amazing one of the things we love about our trailer uh is the windows it's just windows you get a lot of airflow going through here and we love that and like i said since i've upgraded since i did some work on that uh ac unit she's pushing out good she doesn't freeze up anymore uh there's lots of youtube videos on there one of the things i've learned you know, when I bought this trailer in July, I immediately, if I want to learn about something, I go right to YouTube. If something breaks down, I go to YouTube. Whether it's my, something on my house, something in, my, in the backyard, in my pool, my pool pump. I go to YouTube and I find the answers I'm looking for. And I, I gravitated towards the guys and gals that are out there full-timing it. Anything that can go wrong, will go wrong. It's happened to them. They know about it. Uh, they're a wealth of information when you're trying to learn about things. So I could put a, I'll list a bunch of the, the guys I follow on YouTube down at the, in the bottom in the description. And these guys are great. They, they're out there doing it full time and they, they teach you a lot. So if you're thinking about buying a trailer, get out there and have fun, whether it's part time or full time. Uh, maybe you get some ideas about what you're looking for, length. Uh, are you a family? You got kids? Uh, it's just my wife and I and our huge family. So uh, we actually love this couple, this couple's cabin. Uh, if you liked the video, if it was helpful, uh, hit the like button. Uh, I'm going to do some drone footage uh, and start posting some of that stuff. But let me know what you think about our trailer. And thanks, guys. I appreciate your time.